Hi everyone, welcome to my Casual FX115 EX Calculator tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure to share and subscribe. Please comment below and let me know the type of tutorial that you'd like to learn. Today, I'd like to share with you about setting up the calculator to store matrix variables and solve the addition and multiplication of our two matrices. To store matrix, row, and column data, follow this step. First, go to the mode, and here you see number six, which is a matrix, so select that. And we are given the option to store three matrices in the calculator, which is A, B, and C. In this case, we're going to select A, which is number one. And here, as you can see, we go by different row and column. So we can select either 3 times 3 or 2 times 1. And for example, we're going to choose a 2 row and 2 column, which is a number 5. Select that. As you can see here, this is a row and the column where we can start entering the data here. For example, if we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And once you have finished, enter the data matrix variable into here, you have to click AC in order to store the data into the matrix A. So we're going to do that. And on the top, you can see that MAT, so which is that we have matrix in the calculator. And to record the data, you simply go to a shift, number four. And here, as you can see that we store in number three. So we select three. And you click enter equal. Here you go, you have a matrix A, which is a two times two. What happens if you try to retrieve a matrix B, which is we haven't stored anything yet? And you will get an error because there's nothing stored on the B or C at the moment. And you can repeat the same step, you know, for uh, matrix B and matrix C. If we want to do some addition, um, multiplication or subtraction. Let's uh, do a couple examples right here. Let's say you have a 2 times 2 matrix, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So as uh, first, oh, we already stored matrix on the matrix A here. And then uh, we're going to store a matrix uh, B. So let's say you have a uh, uh, 3 row and a uh, to column, so go to uh, mode and then five. I'm sorry, go to mode and then six. Okay, and here you are going to select uh, matrix uh, B, which is two, and we're going to have a three times two, which is number two. We're going to select that, so we're going to start enter number five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. And here we store the matrix in the 3 times 2. So just uh, AC to store it in the matrix B. And now it's stored in the B already. So if you want to retrieve that, go to Shift, Matrix, B, 4 here. And you see that this is the one we just uh, stored a while ago. Let's uh, store another one on the matrix C. So this number 6, which is a matrix. And here we select number three, which is a matrix C. And we're going to select a number six or two times one. In this case, here we're going to have a 11 and then a 12. Here you go. Make sure you click AC to store it. And then go to shift four. And then we'll go to the matrix C number five. And here you go, you have a matrix right here, two, two times one matrix. Okay. So let uh, us uh, do some uh, addition of uh, two matrix in this case. And in order to clear the matrix, right, just go to more, and then one is being clear already. So I want to check it out, go to street matrix, shift matrix. It will not see anything because it has been clear already. So let's say we have uh, 
as addition of a two matrices in this case. So we need to first going to store the first matrix, which is a two by two, with the mode six, and then matrix A, and we have a uh, two times two will be five here. So it will be one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is matrix A. And then we're going to store another matrix. So go to more, and then six and matrix, and then two matrix B, and same thing, two times two, five. And we're gonna have a five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we store that. And now you have a matrix A and B store. So let's do a matrix A plus matrix B. So we'll go to shift, matrix select three which is matrix a and then you can use the plus minus the mod modification here for the calculation so we're going to addition so we we'll put plus and then we're going to shift again and matrix and then we're going to matrix b four and then if we add it up equal and this is the addition for the matrix n and b and let's do another example in this case so let's say you have a uh, two row and three column, two times three, so go to matrix, mode, and then go to six. And you can actually overwrite the matrix A in this case. So we'll click number one, and then we're going to have a two times three, number four. And then we're going to enter number three, four, five, six, seven, a and you see store it and then same thing the group for the uh, matrix b or right there we're going to have a two times three okay so it will be 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 okay if you make error in between you want to make changes you just use a cursor wheel back and forth to make the corrections so now we have entered a second matrix on b just click ac and make sure you click ac to store it so go to shift and then go to um, matrix so we have matrix number a plus matrix number b which is four here and that will give you the matrix uh, addition for the, uh, uh, the second example right here. Next, let's do some uh, multiplication of uh, two matrices. So here we have a uh, two times two matrix. So what we're going to do is that first we're going to store that into the calculator. Go to mode, six, matrix A, and then going to be two times two, and here we're going to store 1, 2, 3, 4. Make sure you save it. And we're going to do the same for the uh, matrix B. And then select number 2. It's going to be 2 times 2. And here we're going to put 5, 6, 7, 8. Save it. So now the matrix is stored in the calculator. Go to Shift Matrix. So we have stored matrix A. Multiply. You can use as a normal operation here. Go to Shift Four Matrix B. And here you go. You have a two two by two matrix: 19, 22, 42, and 50. And how about if we have a different type of uh, row and column? So for example, you if you have a three row and two column, multiply two row and the two column. I'll give you a try. So go to mode, six matrix, A, and then we're going to have a three times two, in this case, which is this one. So we're going to put uh, 2, 5, 3, 6, 4, 7, and start it. 
be the step for second matrix. So we're going to be a two times two, which is a number five, which is going to be eight, nine, 10, 11. Start it. So go to shift matrix, and then we're going to put matrix A, multiply matrix B. Okay, and this is, uh, we're going to get three row and a two column. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my other video on matrices. I have posted the quick tips at below description. Feel free to comment and share. Remember to check out my other calculator tutorial. Have fun learning and applying.